Hello everyone, welcome to Onion Skin, and this is Glow's part two, addressing a couple of very important points that were raised in the comments that I thought were worth talking about. The first is the render view. I forgot to mention before that Glow's and many other effects are only viewable uh, in the render mode, which is the blue flower down here. When you go to the OpenGL view, effects and glows and things just can't be seen. Uh, and that's because glows start to slow things down. When it's just one like this, it doesn't really make too much of a difference. But when you have tons of stuff going on, it's not unusual for a frame to take anything from 30 to 60 seconds to render. So if you're animating and it's taking a whole minute to register every single paint stroke you do, that's a pain. So it's a good thing that this view exists. It gets rid of all the nonsense so that you can keep going normally. Now say you're working on a really big file and there's so many effects going on that even this view starts to slow down, which can happen if you highlight the modules that are causing the problem and press D, they will turn the layers off. It's the same as if you turn the layers off down here. Everything that's not visible will not take up any processing power or any memory and it will speed the program up as well. The other thing I wanted to talk about is animating effects. How do we control them? Uh, most notably, how can we animate a glow uh, turning off and on, gradually fading on and off? Down here, you can see that every module you put in is represented on layers as well. And you can use this as a form of navigation. So say if I touch on this drawing light here, notice it highlights up here. If I touch on the glow, it'll highlight down there. This makes it very easy to find things when you've got a network that's filled with hundreds of stuff or a layers list that feels like it goes on forever. Now here, notice that each layer has a little plus symbol on it. If I open that up, it will show all the parameters that are available in that kind of layer. You can see a glow will have you know, directions and color values, whereas a drawing layer will have uh, position properties. Now, as well as opening up at that, there is this bracket here that will pull open the values for the parameters. And now we can start animating them. So we're gonna focus on the alpha, which is the transparency that will turn the glow on and off. So hopping into render view so we can see the glow. Select on the first frame and there's this plus symbol here that will put a keyframe on just this one parameter, just on the val um, just on the alpha. We'll put another one at the end, hit the plus and drag it all the way down to zero. And we can see that the glow is now off. Uh, because that's across two keyframes, it has created a motion path and you can see it is indeed gradually animating off. And because it works with keyframes, you can treat them as such and will work the same as any other kind of keyframe, if that makes sense. So there we go, I've just copied the first one, put it at the end so it will gradually turn off, then back on again, and I can select on one of the keyframes and bring up the easing panel. And I'll do what I've done in previous videos and just, oops. Make a nice even 50 across everything. And that will give it a slow fade off and a slow fade on. So yeah, animating glows. Quite well hidden underneath all those buttons, but you can see it's quite easy to pull off. Good luck and have some fun. Bye-bye.